Hello friends, today I would like to talk about centripetal acceleration, which results in a centripetal force. Suppose that the body moves along a circuit of a radius R, which a constant model velocity V. Initially the body was located at point A, after some time interval a point B. Let's find the acceleration. And these guns may seem that acceleration should be equal to zero, since the velocity models is constant everywhere according to the problem condition. But in fact this is not the case because the speed is a vector quantity. And as you can see in the figure, the vectors v1 and v2 are not the sum. Vectors will be the sum when they have the same direction at modules. And in our case the modules is the same but the direction are different. The direction of acceleration must uh, coincide with the difference between vectors v1 and v2. I will replace subtraction with addition with the opposite vector. I'm so used to doing it, it's easier for me. I use the parallelogram rule and go to the direction of delta v which does not fall onto the center of the circle. It moves slightly away from the point O. In fact, the acceleration is determined to the limit of delta v by delta t, provided that the time interval tends to zero. If the time interval is very small, that point b will tend to point a. So the length of the arc ab will be equal to the length of the horde, and so the delta v will be directed to the center of the circuit, and the triangle aob will be similar to the triangle BKD. From the similarity of triangles follow the similarity of the corresponding side. Let's describe what are AO, AB, BD and BK. Now by simple mathematical transformation we get the acceleration formula. So my friends we got the formula for centripetal acceleration. If you want to get the formula for centripetal force you have to multiply the resulting acceleration value by the mass. When solving problems you should take into account the fact that the centripetal force or acceleration is the result of the order force. So you need to correctly describe the vector equations. That's all for now. Until the next project. Happy New Year. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalenok.